The world is meeting at this spot, the Games of the Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang, South Korea. Some 50 miles to the north is what's been called the world's most heavily guarded border, separating the two Koreas. But there's just peaceful silence, not tension, at this sheep farm in the shadow of the Olympics. You get a glimpse of the border here, inside the DMZ, the demilitarized zone, outside Seoul, the capital of South Korea. That concrete curb, the border. Inside this room, that table sits on the line. Move closer to this soldier and you're in North Korea. This spot is where a truce was brokered in 1953, ending the Korean War. Technically, the war never ended. You can see that tension lingering in how soldiers face off. A cross-border stare-down between North Koreans and South Koreans, the South joined by their ally, the United States. You can hear the tension from this lookout. That patriotic music is coming from North Korea. Here, it's a country of rolling hills and woods. Over there is a town with no people, what's known as the Propaganda Village. At one time, that flagpole was the world's tallest. Back at that cluster of buildings is where this North Korean soldier escaped across the border last year, his fellow soldiers trying to stop him with bullets. It's here where the two Koreas found a diplomatic opening, literally that has athletes from both countries competing in these Olympic Games. Back in the mountains hosting those games, there's worry. And not because North Korea is 50 miles away. A sort of calm acceptance, despite the potential for danger, just over the horizon.